Hi everyone, welcome back to Anitha's Joints. Hashtag is in the joint where every day is payday, baby. Get tuned in live to another esoteric football commentary with your girl, Anita Flying High. So we have the ladies are back. Um uh the ladies are back in in domestic play. Uh so we're gonna be tuning into PSG and Dijon. Um round 15 here for Paris. A really good lineup. I see Martins Baltimore Diani up top looking good. Jackie in the midfield. A lot of good players. Ladies are back. Um, and always excited to see. Um, always excited to do commentaries with you all. Um, it's early today. And I was going to watch City play Bristol City. Manchester City versus Bristol City was today. Um, but there's no stream for that. So... Then I looked on FA Player. I looked on. Um, I was looking on City to see because usually they'll put like where it might be live. Uh, but yeah, but also another big match is Arsenal and Chelsea. I don't know how it's big based upon you know both teams have players playing for England and of course the respected national teams. Um, and so. This is a this is a cup match, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to City, when it comes to City and Bristol City, and um, Arsenal and Chelsea, and uh, Arsenal beat Chelsea. No, 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 I'm trying to figure out. Ah, I, I think Chelsea might get that one, but you know, we'll see. I'm a neutral. <laughs> I'm a neutral when it comes to that. But um, Paris and Dijon. Uh, let me get the lineup. Well, they're gonna look at the lineups and everything. Um. Let's go. Uh, yeah, happy um, happy Sunday to everyone. Oh, PSG are playing away from home. Uh, so should be interesting. Interesting. I was gonna, I was gonna try to get the lineups down, but I'm not really like too stressed that much because I know most of the players by heart. I'll probably just do it behind the scenes. But, um, yeah, I think the only cup I have to do, the only international tournament really I have to do is the uh, Cup of Nations. And that was the Australian tournament. So, like, still be looking out for that. I, I still have that coming. Um, but we ha had to get out all the other, because I started the other cups before I started the Australian Cup. And plus, the Australian Cup was like late, 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 like in the AMs, you know what I'm saying? In the AMs. Uh, so you see, Diani is the captain today. Let's go. It was, um, who was it? It was the Arnold Cup, the Shibali's Cup, the Revelations Cup. In the Cup of Nations. It's like, damn. A lot of cups, yeah? <laughs> and all the teams practically, won all the teams won their tournament that they hosted. Which really doesn't give us any uh, insight on... It just shows, you know, here's uh, Dijon's lineup. Uh, I feel like we I've seen Dijon play before, but... Um, uh, not familiar, you know what I'm saying? Not familiar. Got to get to know, get to know, and I think Par I'm pretty sure Paris are still one point behind Lyon. Lyon are kicking off their match pretty much at the same time, I believe. Should get Paris line up pretty here shortly. Pretty, pretty here. All right, yeah, so Diani, Baltimore, Martin, Spockman's in the lineup, okay. Jackie, Dean, Traore, okay. So we got some different... Uh, Kaushui is still gone, uh, looks like it. Uh, of course, Dudek, unless Dudek got sold. <laughs> but Bachman comes into the lineup, I like that, in the midfield. Um, you know, her pace is really influential. The, the, swoosh, the Swedish, the Switzerland, Switzerland, the Swiss.
What the? Oh, I was like. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, she got to kick the ball. That's well, that's cool, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go. I got the candle. We're going to light it. We're going to be lighting the candle for the full matches now. Like, I decided. I decided. Yellow candle's going to be lit for the whole match nowadays. Uh, because we want to make sure that we are staying confident. Okay. A little fortunate and our solar plexus chakra is that chakra that shines bright here's the only here and psg have you know yellow uh baltimore outsider they have yellow um numbers on the back so that's pretty cool as well colors of black here to boss possession they do against most teams it's how dijon cope whether they can at least to begin with keep them out. All right, turn a little boy a little bit there. I don't know. I don't know if it's a guy commentator or a bro commentator. Probably a guy. But um you already know. Here's Jackie here looking for Diani. She does. Ooh, but she falls. She trips. I think she just lost her footing. I was going to say damn already. Yeah, but Paris, you know, they know they and, and, and Grace is in here as well. Uh, Grace is in the back line for um, Paris. Priori, um, new player I'm introduced to um, playing as a right back. I got to see who Grace is playing with in, uh, in the back line real quick. Just to just see. Uh, it looks a little more competitive down there, so they'll need to win more than um, they managed last time. You would think to stay up. Oh, Jijarina. Oh yeah, I remember her. Buhadi is back in the sticks as well. Okay, yeah, cause I think she did play, and then Lee is on the left. Okay. How do you say it? George, Georgia Via, Georgia Via. Yeah, Georgia Via. Yeah, that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. That's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, Lee here, yeah. Hey. Now, Ashley Lawrence. Today for PSG at all. Not even on the bench, nor Illestet. When you have a squad full of internationals like Paris Saint Germain do, rotation shouldn't be an issue. Not in a game like this, anyway. But if there is a, a chink of light for Dijon today, it's. I believe Diane is their top goal scorer, but here's Dijon. In the back. Ooh, got a clip. Okay, Wadi well, comes out. We didn't see Wadi with France. She didn't come off the bench, but I think she did get called up. Uh, we saw Grace out there. Um, not too sure if the Netherlands played any time. I would imagine that they did, but they weren't invited. Well, at least if they hosted their own little tournament. I'm not too sure. I, I, I didn't even look to see the Dutch if they played. I would have thought that they had played, but they weren't really invited to any tournament of the major tournaments, I guess. Um... And I'm pretty sure the Netherlands are going to the World Cup. Right? Right? Oh, they're, they're without their big striker, Minima. But, um... Okay, all right. Cross two. Marina Georgieva. Who played 90 minutes twice for the Austrians, so getting more football right now than she has the, been The recently. camera view is, is very interesting. Generally on the bench. PSG. Are we getting the, ki the ladies? A couple of weeks for her. That's a dangerous ball. Seized upon. Here's Martins. Here's Bachman. Good defending. Oh, that was Martins. My bad. There's Lee. Ah, goal kick. Not to any great effect. Getting more game time as the season is going on. Chinese international Li Mingwen. There's the Belgian keeper for Dijon. 
Lisa Lefus. Started all but one this season, having been back up last term. Last season was her first since moving from Standard Liège in her native Belgium. Here's Diani. The goal machine that they have. And Baltimore, I'm really happy to see her because she um she had to come off the last she came off early on the last match um for France and it, and I, but pretty sure Diani played so many minutes during that tournament like she was she started all the whole tournament she played almost a full 90 for every match so i mean credit to her energy and stamina grace uh she started the first match i think she came off the bench the second one and the third one i believe she was trying out uh this year she was trying out different uh formulations for the ladies and as expected because you know they are gonna need some people they are gonna we don't know if we're, we're probably not gonna get Marie back until next season, unfortunately, and that's what it's looking like. A lot of the best players uh, that went out in the Euros, we it looks like we may not get to see them until next season. Uh, Cause I, I mean, even though World Cups like right there, I mean, damn, it's tough. It's tough. It's really up to them at the end of the day. It's up to how they come back, and because they all look at when you look at um, Marie and Alexa, they all they both got hurt like at the same time. Alexa a little bit before, and Marie like during the match. And I'm trying to figure out who else kind of got hurt. I think they had, uh, but besides those those two big stars for France and Spain, and we don't even know if Spain's gonna get all their players. So really, Alexa can just sit out. You know, she don't really have to. Uh, and Barcelona's they're not like they are struggling without her, so it's like you fully recover. But Paris and Paris and PSG, I mean Paris and France are a different, a little different. They could use Marie is a boost, a, such a such a big boost. Um, and of course she would be with France, um, and, and even with she would be with France, and Paris could use her as well. So. Um, now you have Martins, Baltimore, Diani, and Marie. That's really, that's really nice. You know what I mean? Up top. Dijon. Oh, if you didn't know the colors. Paris are in black. Paris are in black. Dijon are in the uh, in the red. It's, uh, well, it's 7 over here. It's 7 in the morning here, so it looks like it may be like looks midday here, like noon. Sun's out. Maria Diaz on the left side. There's Gerard Fresher. Hugely experienced coach. Title winner in his time with Lyon. Almost a decade ago now. Off, no yeah, so Paris's back line is going through some changes. As you know, this is not our this is not our normal back line. Literally, it looks like a lot of players are hurt. Um Good ball. Baltimore. Okay. Backman gets the ball from Baltimore. Martins first shot on this side. But it's a cool day out there. The ladies have the long sleeves. Good little one too. Baltimore and Bachman. And then Bachman finds uh, Martins here. Water over here. All three of her league goals now coming in home wins. A player who's so used to being so prolific with that incredible basket. Uh, yeah, that was foul. Oh, yellow card. Goals and not always starting either. 
foul on Jackie Gronin here by Tedeschina. Russian. I wonder what Jackie was saying to the back line. Okay, all right, clearly, as a generally a midfielder, happy and comfortable on the ball, bringing it out, no problem. Martin's dropping in. Baltimore back to Georgie Ava. Started the cup game here, Georgie Ava, in the start of this month. <clears throat> Telegraph by Orient Jean Francois is Jackie Gronin. You're very narrow. Okay, good run. Overlap. Lee here. She's gonna put a good ball in on the ground. Martin's gonna get here. Martin's on the run again. Mm. I don't know why she didn't cross it in the first time that she received the ball, but okay, it's all right. Gonna put herself. Ackman uh, here. Whips turns. Diani. A little short. Baltimore. That's cool. A uh, goal kick. Ah, yeah. Really well there. All right, Dijon has some players in the box too, as well. Good strike here. It's a good opportunity. Um, especially because that ball did take a deflection before it got to her, uh, the goalkeeper. So I feel like since this is, uh, even though, you know, I think. Paris are the better team. The the back line is still they probably haven't played together as consistently. So Dijon have to know that oh well we played more together. Our top our front three played more than them. That's what I'm just I'm assuming. Assuming. So they always have to know that in a way they have a advantage when it comes to chemistry offensively. Uh and have to see the players they can uh manipulate in the back line. Uh, but um Good ball. That has to cause them not to drop too much. They look like they're playing like a four, a four five one sometimes, with one striker up top. So uh, you know, I think that in FIFA they be saying like when you put up that's when you put in certain formulae. When you in FIFA when you play FIFA and don't forget you can play as a uh, you can play as Dijon in the latest installment of FIFA as well if you if you like Dijon as a football team. Because uh, Paris and Dijon are in the latest FIFA, uh, the ladies are, the Division 1, as well as um, the English League. So if you're interested in that, you know, I have the game. I bought the game for the ladies. I always buy FIFA, but of course, who wouldn't want to buy the game? Ah, as me, who, would, who didn't want to buy the game when you get to play as the ladies team? I mean, that's super dope. Uh, so first time ever, and uh, so... Like I was telling um, my first match, I don't know if um, if y'all want some gameplay of that, you know, let me know. I can always uh, go live on the gaming channel and we can I can show you some uh, some gameplay of FIFA. Um, 
But um, I'm waiting for when they have like a career mode. That'd be super dope. To have a career mode. And of course they would have to get some more clubs involved. More leagues involved. And uh, we'll see. Because FIFA really doesn't have any competition. And I know things are changing. So things, it may not be FIFA. But like whoever makes... And usually they make a, a football game every year. FIFA. Uh, but... They have to be able to... Okay, here's a good interception from Baltimore. Alright, this should be a good opportunity. She got... Ooh. She went for goal. I like it. I feel like she she deserved it. She she is the one that picked the ball off. off in, uh, and she decided to go for goal. On her left. Too far off. You see that she was trying to curl it. It wasn't too far off. Uh, a few goals this term. And he's playing perhaps a some players down here. Referee ain't see it. And, uh, the referee for a while was going to let that run, but it does look like a head injury for Rose Lavo. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the foul. Um, yeah, pretty much. We I think the next leagues that probably would make their introduction their introduction would be the German league and the American league and hopefully the Mexican league as well because of the Indivisible and Mexican league they're starting to collab a lot more. But of course, um, you know, and the Spanish league and, and eventually we'll, we need to get have a good a good healthy you know eight leagues. How many leagues are in FIFA for the men? But just in general, how many faces? Like there's not like this the gym the when you play in different leagues for the men's leagues, their faces are, are not always face scans, so it's like you know, it shouldn't it's not a big deal. But for the ladies game, all the ladies need to be able to have a face scan because this is a that's new. That's new. That's a new they're they're new, so everyone should have a face. And uh, especially if they're only doing two leagues at once, shit, that's like, and have, have, most of these teams only have 12 teams, um, that's not a lot of, that's not that many players, you know what I'm saying, and that's only 12 teams compared to these other, the men's league, they got like 15 to 17 teams, multiple divisions, uh, you know, so, it. It shouldn't be hard, especially if they do if they if they want to do it two two leagues, and then of course the career mode. They already have commentators in the game. You you still want to have the men commentating the the ladies game? You you already do that in like real life, so you you already do that in real life. I mean I'm I'm not expecting y'all to have lady commentators for the female game. Uh, unless y'all, unless that's something y'all want to expand on, but that's whoever makes the next latest, whoever makes the next game, they have to build upon that for, what's the point if you're not going to build upon it, point of introducing it, so, shout out government, y'all, y'all, we, we watching y'all, and especially now, ooh, nowadays all the games are 60, ooh, shit, <laughs> um, Yes, it's it's super great that you get to play, but I think they were decisive. They were decisive when they told us that the ladies were gonna be in here. We thought, I thought, I thought, I really thought we was gonna have career mode. Real talk. Looks like we're gonna have her. Okay, never mind. No, I was like, she's not early sub. And shout out to Dijon, all the supporters that are out here today. Good, a good crowd here on this on this side. Yeah, a nice stadium too. It's like the aimless clearance. That's what they can't afford to do. Keep giving it back so cheaply. Martins. Martins had Lee outside. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so she's having 
she's having a tough time making decision when she wants to cross it i feel like you know that that's something she's gonna have to work on like right here she's gonna have to put in a good ball Biani, ooh, so close. I think that was well. Especially when you have that much time and space, your decisions have to be, you know, pretty much on point. Because, like, a lot of times you're not even going to get that much time or space to be able to have a good ball in. So, when you do, it's a luxury. And, and you know, really can't, you know, it's nice to have luxuries, right? On the pitch. You can see how high the fullbacks are. Essentially, PSG playing with. Georgieva and Georo here as a back two, really. And the full backs are not fully back at all. That's always the important thing when you're bossing the ball against a team trying to be organized. You have to have it's a little too close to uh, the defender here. Martins to Diaz. PSG stopping Dijon from getting out. But what they have done is they've stopped them scoring for 20 minutes. So that's a good start. He just stayed up last term, Dijon. Two points above relegated EC. Actually took a couple of their players. EC going down with Saint Etienne. In fact, those Dijon points they got that were just enough came mostly because of a great start. They won three of their first six games and didn't win again in the subsequent 16, but just enough draws to get enough points. It's Baltimore. Baltimore here. Aren't, it's a touch a little too heavy for her but you see Dijon only got one attacking up front that's it she's so she's solo she by herself and she's all right in pace but you know that's when if you're playing if you're playing in that position I mean I feel like if you're playing in that position in that formation you need a pacey striker Because usually you're going to be 1v1 most of the time. Or 1v2 with the back line. Um, so. Good pass. Backman here. Oh, man. If someone was far post. It looked like Martins was, was going more inward. But this was good. Uh, I think that was Georgia Vina. Good pass t t for her to find Bachman as well. And and I don't know, Dijon, like, she had so much space uh, when she got the ball, Bachman, from that ball. Um, and it, it, it is because, you know, Bachman it hadn't been starting a lot. And Georgia Vina hadn't been starting a lot either. So I'm thinking those two probably have good chemistry when they have to place the starting ladies, like in scrimmages and stuff like that. So I'm thinking that's why they are they're kinda just based upon what I've seen the first twenty four minutes, twenty some minutes, they probably link they're linking together really well. And it makes sense why, you know, the manager would have started them too, because out of probably the, the second team that usually doesn't start, those probably two are the, the most two that have the good uh they 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 gel off each other real well. And of course Blackman's been with I don't know how long she's been with Paris, but ever since I've watched that she's been there. But um we got Triori's fast. You see she's tracking back number twenty-nine. I think she's number twenty-nine. Unfortunately for Dijon, Maria Diaz didn't see it. I, uh... Ooh. Okay. Yo, did y'all know that Club America played all rain? Like, last night? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Um, Club America streamed the match. I was like, what the? What the? Like, I woke up this morning, I saw it on my timeline. I'm like, hold on. I don't know, I was like, what? So, I mean, I don't even like Baby Leon like that, you know what I'm saying? And then oh, Club America, I'll tell you, once again, it's on my YouTube. Club America was the first professional team i ever seen in my entire life. And they came to America. Well, aka, they came to, they came to Texas, aka former Mexico, literally. So, I mean, don't forget, if you, like, brief history lesson. 
before Texas was Texas, it was Mexico. So, yeah, they came just back home, pretty much. Club America came, but they played in Seattle. Uh, but when I saw Club America, they were in San Antonio. But here we go, nice passes from Paris here. Baltimore is the far, oof, is the farthest woman far post. Um, I'm trying to think, did Baltimore score any goals? I'm trying to think who all scored for Paris, I mean, for France. I'm thinking it wasn't that many players because I knew the first match. Yeah, it wasn't. It was. It was kind of tough for Paris to get some goal. For man, I keep saying Paris. It was kind of tough for uh, France to get some goals during the break. Um, in a way. It's pretty relentless, isn't it? But it's not really ending in shots. Because they played Denmark. They played um. These are getting up high here. Who else is uh? There was really no one right there. Maybe she could have, she could have turned around. You know what I'm saying? We always got to watch. It's all about decision making. We're watching the players make decisions on the field. What would you do in that position? You know what I'm saying? She was already kind of falling. But put yourself in that situation at the moment. And try to do your best to figure out the outcomes. Right? Because you're only given so many, right? Pass, shoot, hold. And which one's the best? To get the defense caught off guard, right? It's and so that's what's kind of good about football. You can like um, you can pinpoint the angles and how how you can be creative, right? But then again, you need those players to have that imagination, to have the vision to implement that, right? And of course, all together, they need to gel good with the team. And of course, the opposition, if they have good opposition, it may be a little tougher. If they have you know a lesser opposition, it could be a little easier. I feel like Dijon, um, you know, since they're playing more defensive, like playing four, four, five, one, maybe it a little the the space is a, a little tighter, so we see a lot more quick passes with the ladies. So it could be rushed, but then again, it has to be timed perfectly as well. So I think it'll be a little bit more difficult because they're not playing as aggressive. Dijon for Paris. <laughs> I believe his Baltimore shot was the closest. That's all we've got. I remember, um, yeah, that was like before. I, I think more. Yeah, that was before the break. Let me see what happened on the break. Here's Lee. She like I had a lot of time and space here. She got to pick out a good ball. I feel like that was pretty good. That was to Jean. I feel like Jean should have done better with that one. But uh, they're giving her a lot of space right there. Let me see. Yeah, the only really good match. That, I'm not saying good match because France won the tournament, but the only match they had like more than one goal or two goals was against Uruguay, right? And then with Uruguay, they had a totally different lineup at a totally different lineup. Um, the only player that that started for um, Paris was Grace, actually. So Yanni did get a rest there. It was a total. It was a lot of different. It was a totally different lineup for France versus Uruguay. Uh, which makes sense. Yeah, so um, the last match that we watched uh, Paris was versus La Heve. Uh It was 3-1. Martins scored. Diani scored. And then at right at the end, I think it was... Um, who was this? I think it was the youngin, Frazier. I have to. I would have to look at my YouTube because. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what I put. Because I put, I put, I think I put her first name instead of her last name. That's why I'm like, what, the, what did I write here? It was it was four three one. Uh, La Heve it actually equalized.
Baltimore. Jean-Francois. Where is Backman? Okay, Backman gives it for Baltimore. Here she is. Yanni. Probably won't keep her quiet for long. Backman. Lots of traffic. Yanni ends up picking the ball back when Ooh, what a goal! Let's go! I love it! Diani, good! You see, Diani didn't give up on that play and she ended up kicking that ball to Bachman and Bachman with the strike inside the box. Uh, well done, Parrish. That's what you like to see. Wait, did you see Jackie's face? I don't know. What's going on right there? Hold on, ladies. Hold on. Anyway, I don't know what she was saying. Uh, but back when, anyways, that was weird. Maybe they hit heads or something? I don't know, they have having conversations. Anyways, yeah, you see right here. Yanni kind of just like, ah, let me just sneak, sneak that, and then Bachman takes advantage. And, and you see Diani just sneak and get that ball from her. And what a good shot, good finish from Bachman here. If Bachman didn't, well, if Bachman was in Switzerland, and she wasn't Swiss, uh yeah okay that's what she's saying she's saying she's not lee okay lee don't feel well <laughs> um yeah but i mean that's what you give that's that's uh what do you call them uh, hustle place we don't give up on a play i didn't think that girl didn't expect the to come from behind her uh or from the side of her to get it and then of course damn my light my light flickering but a uh, good goal i like the goal good goal are the ladies here goal, in the 30th minute from Ramona Backman has been such a good player for such a long time at so many good clubs Chelsea in England Wolfsburg in Germany Rosengold in Sweden and that is I'm not too sure who else PSG have in that position in the left back now but we getting a little look it looks like they gonna need to sign some defenders maybe during the transfer window next season because um they got, uh, Surely some bandaging. That is a nasty bump. I don't know. Lee's been playing a lot of minutes, too. The size of I'm not just sure what national team she is, but, uh, yeah. She doesn't look too fast, but I'm sure the medical department are. Well, yeah, but she's been playing a lot of minutes, too. I'm gonna have to close my door. Get a little chill. Well, she doesn't want the bandage. She says she's okay, but... Very careful with head injuries. Interesting to see if there's any more aerial balls. This is where it happened. Ooh, Bang. yeah, that girl's kind of kind of took a hard a hard hit from that lady. And so little room for error. And he played 22 times in a season. Mm. Damn. Good tackle for Jackie here. <laughs> Yo, she's she's great. Not interested. Here's young Triore. Diani ahead of her. Back to Triore. Diaz and Martins. Oh, All right, another good, another good uh, pocket pick from Diani. Okay, ooh, come on, what was she doing? She took too long to make a decision. You saw that, right? She took too long. She took too long. She had Diani open. She should have fed her a little bit earlier, but she had too much time to think about when she was going to feed Diani. And then it just ended up, once you get. I mean, there's only so much closer you can get to the, you know, get to where finally the defense are going to come towards you. And then, of course, Diani got to try to toe the line on staying on side. So, you know, right there for Jean, that decision, she waited too long. It's got to be 
it's got to be at the perfect moment, especially if you wait longer. It's okay sometimes if you want to do it ahead, but for me, you want to, you know, you got to time it correctly. You got to make sure, you know, that's what we love about football, the timing, like the accuracy, the the beauty of that. You, it's got to be better right there because that could have been an opportunity for Paris to get a goal because you saw everyone that was up. Says goal machine. Lee Meng went here. Seemingly okay. But uh, what she doesn't need is any aerial clashes like that nearly was. Jackie Cronin back to Buadi. Not tested enough so far. Imagine Dijon will stick to change what they're doing while well, it's 1-0 anyway. Might have to do something different if it goes to 2. Baltimore. Jean-Francois. You need to be defensively tight. That is for sure if you are to frustrate a team like Paris Saint-Germain. And it was a mistake. They were caught on the ball. And the best teams always punish you. And PSG did. Here's Diani who did the catching. Who was that? It was, uh, I think that was Triore. My bad, Gene. I think that was Triore that had that pass to give to Diani. Because I was like, man, Triore is not. Uh, I was trying to look at the jersey. And I was, I'm looking at the jersey and I was like, ah, that wasn't Dean. Because she wears the number six. It was like a 28 or 29. I think that was Triore. So, yeah, my bad. Hey. <laughs> All right, corner, Paris. On the ground. Okay. Ooh. Lucky, luckily, it let it left right to her, and it went through some bodies. Man, I'm kind of salty that uh, City. On their first match back, we don't even have a fucking stream. And they're winning! Ugh. Frustrating. That's frustrating. This is the second match I haven't been... This. I'm gonna look... I'm, I looked... Every, I feel like I looked everywhere. <laughs> but, there was, um... There are streaming websites. I'm gonna see if they decide to see if they have one, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there is no stream available. And of course, this is via Atta football players. So shout out to Atta. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this ain't free no more. You know what I'm saying? They gotta, like I said, my commentaries. Like this is this will be on Twitch for like 14 days, and then I'm not. In, I got. I'm starting to think I have created my Patreon now. The, you could probably find that replay available on Patreon if you want to see the replay. But on YouTube, I'm going to have to start changing some things. Um, especially because I know like all the Champions League matches are going to be like censored. So now that's going to be on Patreon. And uh, I'm going to try to just watch as many matches live here over on Twitch. Uh, and then, of course, uh, it'll stay up here for as long as Twitch. It's like 14 days. But I have to get more followers to have it like 30 days. Uh, I don't know how many how many more followers I have to get for that. But it's very... It's, Twitch is different Like when it comes to YouTube. So you don't really need... Ooh. Baltimore probably got a, a swinging hand. But yeah, anyways. Who had that happen to her earlier? Got a bit lucky there because Gronin nicked it. Atta used to be free, but ain't free no more. And and it is expected because it's like how many leagues that they they show for show. And it's, I mean, I got the uh. Yeah, at this for how many leagues that they show now? But nowadays, uh, cause Paris. Especially if you're like in the States or anywhere, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be in the States. Diani, she takes the shot. She takes the shot. Bartis was there. I don't mind her going for that goal. She helped get the first one. But but I don't mind it, but the better pass might have been to Baltimore, right? 
<laughs> they are leading 1-0. And of course, it doesn't matter. You, you wouldn't hurt Paris getting a second goal going into the second half. in England, Birmingham City to, does previously have experience in this league with Fleury. Yeah, so next month we have a lot of um, well, one Martin's Champions League is back, I believe, and also uh, Not a good pass, though. and the Bissell is going to be starting later in the month too, or just in that month in general, nice next month. You would think for the of Li Meng Wen. So we'll have like almost all the leagues, because I know the Australian league is on as well. A lot of the leagues will just be in full swing, as they sway, as they sway, as they say. But uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Houston Dash and this, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're going to be tuning into the Dash. Uh, hopefully they have uh, a good season. Build off that last season. Got a new manager once again. <laughs> but, um, actually, I was surprised too. Like, you know, because uh, now I'm getting, I want to, I'm getting into City, but um, we have, we signed another Venice. You know, City have Diana. I mean, not Diana. Diana. Uh, she's the only Venezuelan player I know about. But now Houston have signed. Uh, Barbara, Barbara, I think that's right, Barbara Olivieri, she's a Venezuelan of descent, Venezuelan descent, so, uh, I was like, okay, let's go, you know, we're getting more, more players, so I was like, all right, David, you got some help, you know what I'm saying, but, um, she's a, she's a, she's from Texas, well, they say she's a Katy native, so she's from Texas, uh, probably, um, been up in Texas for a while, but she went to A&M, and I saw that, I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So, um, if you, I don't know if y'all, Venezuela, I, you know, I don't know how they are ranked nationally, but uh, it's good to see more, uh, it's just good to see different demographics, um, nationalities make their presence known, you know what I'm saying? Because, especially for the, the, the teams that need it help right because we know there's a lot of talent that will come from france england germany all the t a lot of the top teams that we see but when you get like well for me uh, as an observer when i get to see different players from different nationalities you know, make teams like in uh and you know different leagues it's like okay not only will they inspire the other generations but you know it helps us to just get to know that team more too. So okay, let's tune into her, tune into them. You know, what I'm saying their their ladies are emerging through the cracks, and uh, also it kind of makes them a little bit more popular because like there's not like oversaturated of like top players. But then again, you want that in that way as well too, so you can like win trophies. You need you need top players. Portuguese and Spanish connection on the left side for Dijon. Baltimore. <laughs> Nicely worked. Jean Francois. All right. Baltimore again. Baltimore. Dangerous this. Clever reverse ball. Ooh, that shot! It's a goal! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Good deflection! Oh my goodness, Dijon with a goal line save! Wow, Martins was robbed. <laughs> Martins was robbed at the end. Oh man, what a good clearance though! Well done, from Dijon. That's what you call. A great save right there off the line. Great save off the line. Man, we got we gotta get a replay. Are we gonna get a replay? I don't even know if we're able to get replays on this on Atta. Oh fuck it, a. Eh? This is a this is bad because it's like I think it's just strictly straight live. You know, what I mean? there ain't no replays. That's the only thing about this not being on TV. There ain't no replays. It's just straight action. And that's organic too. You know what I'm saying? So. But damn! Yeah, so I don't think we're not getting no replays. Um, unless it's until halftime, probably. 
<laughs> wow. It have been two. Wow. Wow. They deserve that. They deserve it. They deserve it. Uh, let's stop it. Score of that one. Backman into Gorjeva. I said, Grayson already took off one glove. <laughs> she already did took off one glove. She's like, all right, well, you know, we, it's about to be half time. Let me see if she's still running with one glove on. Now she put it on. Is she? Let's look. Let's look. Yeah, see, she put look. She got one glove on, one glove on. I'm like, she already did took off her glove. She's like, ah, it's half time. That's funny. This is a, that is funny, yo. Look at her. She's holding her glove. And the, and she did took off both gloves, y'all. She did took off both gloves. Look at that. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about to be half time. She took off both gloves. That's funny. <laughs> and if you don't know who Grace is, she's number eight. Number eight. Cause sometimes I'll say their first name because their first name will be it, it be pronounced. I can pr their first names be easier to pronounce than their last names. You know what I'm saying? Lawrence Carshawi is the fullback. Silverstep and Dal Mader in the middle. But all right, we got the one minute. The one minute. Been more concerned with helping out the midfield, which in turn has been helping out the defence. The last act of this first half will be a. A wide PSG free kick. half for this elite boost maybe one final bit of work to do Baltimore trying the clever one all right last chances for another go oh. uh she may give us okay she's gonna let us get there she's gonna let Paris get the corner here last last kick probably to deliver straight into the mix this time not a good I wasn't good enough either no time for the second quarter though. There's the half time whistle. All right, that is half time, y'all. They were top of the table. One nil. They have scored in the other game. Most importantly for PSG. Bachmann's goal. It was a good goal too as well. Nice finish. Um Yeah, it was a nice finish here. Let me see something. Mm, City are leading. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, let me let me. I'm gonna have to look something behind the scenes real quick. Ladies, are t I'm gonna have to look at something behind the scenes. Let's see if I can get um. Oh wait, hold on. Er Côté de Dijon, on est avec euh, Léna Götz. Ça n'a pas été facile cette première période. Vous avez eu quelques occasions. Est-ce que vous avez l'impression d'avoir laissé passer votre chance euh, C'est vrai qu'on avait deux bonnes occasions. C'est dommage qu'on n'a pas pu concrétiser. Il faut qu'on gère quelques décalages à la mi-temps. Euh, mais dans l'envie et l'intensité, il euh, faut qu'on soit encore plus répondante. Merci. Merci. Is thank you. Merci. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know any... F I mean, I got an app called du Jujo. Du -ju -du -no. Fucking A. I can't even say it. It's Duolingo, I think. And you can learn French and all types of languages. I'm pretty good. Like, when I was starting the app... I mean... Let me turn that off. I'm pretty good. Like, like my French... Some of my French, like, based upon the baby languages... Like, based upon, like, the... The, 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 the starting fundamentals of the French. I'm pretty good. Then I'm better than I am, uh, like as a beginner. 
Then when, you know, of course, I learned Spanish. I'm not, like, I don't speak Spanish, but in school, like, French wasn't available. It was just Spanish or sign language. So it was like, well, you know, okay, so Spanish. So, you know, I know a little bit, but not even, like, have, to have conversations, you know. It wasn't even, like, good enough. Like, and then again, like, I feel like learning a language is, you know, you, I would want to live in France or I live in the lo geographical location where they speak the language more. So it would be just be more natural for me. Like, okay, I want to I wanna talk to you more. People would be more willing to teach you as well, I feel. In America, it's like, ah. Uh, People that do speak Spanish, they don't want to teach you Spanish. They're like, what? I mean, but uh, anyways, uh, I wanted to see something real quick. Um, yeah, so this is, we just may get this. Like the, I'm not too sure if they'll give us any, any they're probably behind, working behind the scenes. Oh, I forgot. I'm actually live in this bitch. Um, they might be working behind the scenes on the replays. If not. Uh, I can always go on my channel to do the replays, but what are they doing? Practicing? But let me go over here. I wanted to look at um a couple things. A couple of things here. Let me see something. Um, because I mean, even oh yeah, Arsenal and, and Chelsea are playing. Uh, let me see what's going down over there. What y'all think? Who? What y'all think? Arsenal, Chelsea? I would say Chelsea are probably leading. Because I saw some of Arsenal's uh, players that are still hurt. I mean, Lauren, Lauren James is on fire. Like, like real talk. They got Sam Curry. I, mean, I think Chelsea. I think Chelsea probably whooping Arsenal. And I say they probably not whooping them, but I, 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 even though I don't like, even though I don't like Chelsea, I like Lauren James. Uh, even though I don't like Chelsea, I like some of their players. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't really, I don't like, uh, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, come on, what are, we, what are we looking for, what are we looking for? Uh, here we go, let's see, what they got right here? Nah, they don't got no stream, that's what I thought, y'all lying, mother- Let me see how Chelsea and Arsenal are doing here, real quick. Oh. Oh. Chelsea are winning 1-0, yeah. I'll show y'all a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Okay, well, that's not really what I wanted to show y'all, but this is the website. If you ever want to know, like, oh, Anita, how are you fucking watching matches? Ah, there you go. Okay. So you, so you have it. It's, um... Okay, fucking A, come on. There we go. A little bit of Arsenal and Chelsea here. Um, let me see who scored for Chelsea. Was it Sam Kerr? Probably, right? Meet him up! Ah, uh, yeah! This is the, um... Fucking A, the constant... What cup is this? I forgot what cup this is. Oh, oh, Vitality Cup. Oh, Sophie Engel scored. Interesting. And also, Arsenal are going to be playing Chelsea once again in the final. So someone has to sac... It may be like a... Um, we'll see who has to sacrifice. Because Arsenal could win... I mean, Chelsea could win the Vitality Cup. And we'll just see. It's just... And then... um. The FA Cup, they may, like I said, they may make both teams have to win one and one. So like, Ch like City are not. City may. Oh, excuse me. City couldn't win the Continental Cup and the and the other cup they were in, right? Because <clears throat> it just wasn't gonna happen. Uh, let me uh stop this over here and behind the scenes real quick. Why what's going on? Another chance. Oh, my bad, y'all. Y'all need to see all that. Yeah. There we go. But, yeah. Sometimes, well, that's what happens, you know, unless unless the rich craft is, uh... Ooh. Adam here. Was that Adam? Adam with the cross. No, this is Maxtinius. 
And Magnum with well, yeah, that was her. And again exposes that forward thinking play from Chelsea. Just a few vulnerabilities coming. They started like um Chelsea, but because Paris and them, they started at 7.45, and this team, they started at uh, 8 o'clock, so it's like 15 minutes. So we should, we should be able to, like, ride it out, ride them out to the, um... See how we just do it? We just flew over here to England just like that? Bro, that flight was easy. Okay, manages to dig it out from the byline away by Bright. Arsenal had that chance, didn't they? They've been produced an excellent save from Berger. I was gonna make some tea, but I'll probably make it later. I've been, well. Also, also, also on my what popped, also what popped up on my timeline was Sweden, right? Ericsson. <clears throat> and there's rumors that her and uh, Peniel are going to Lyon, and so I'm starting to think like, well, I mean they are older players, you know what I'm saying? I don't, it doesn't really help hurt. I think that's two really good players, though. When I'm looking like, damn, Leon are gonna only like they're gonna get a lot of knowledge from these two players, and you know, Peniel, as an offensive player, and Ericsson, a defensive player. I mean, that's, that's decent. And like I said, like uh, we know that Leon are gonna have to eventually uh, look for, you know, they've been having Gillis play with Wendy Renard in the back line. And if you bring Ericsson, she may take Gillis' spot. And it may be a little bit better for Leon the way they want to play. And then, of course, I think Peniel, though, I feel like it will be a little bit harder for her to get to the lineup because they have Cascarino and also, um, who else? Fucking A. Oh, there's, I was like, I was like, who's, there's Beth, Beth and Viv. Oh, wait, Beth is there too. I forgot. I forgot. To Arsenal's best players are go are down, out for the count. They're probably out for the Euros too. Uh, I mean, fuck the Euros, the World Cup. Um, but yeah, in a way, some of that it, it could be a good move for um, even it can it'll be. I think I don't mind them going to Lyon. Like I said, like I don't mind because I feel like they're not. They're just like okay, you know, they're already in. They've they've been in their prime here. Ooh, yo, how did she not make that? What? Arsenal, you're so lucky. You're so lucky, Arsenal. She literally just swung her foot right at her girl. Like what? Are we gonna get a replay of this? Because honestly, this was like so in slow motion. Like I can't believe she literally didn't um get a goal. Like what? Right here. Good save. Oh, big save. Damn. Okay, so Chelsea should have been two up. Arsenal, unfortunately, what a good save. What great saves here. And they call it into inaction there. Wow. Wow. What a big save from the goalkeeper. Yo, that second save, she had to get out there. Oh, this. Okay, I want that Chelsea replay. I want the Chelsea. I want the replay on Chelsea. So Caitlin Ford here gets to Magnum here. I'm not too sure who's that that takes your shot. A big save on that second one. Oh, McCabe. Okay, McCabe was the first. So they have McCabe playing offensive. And yeah, right here, boom. She has. To, okay, this is the Chelsea opportunity. Yes. Look, look. This should have been a goal. No bullshit. No bullshit. But was the ball from Kerr behind her? But still, like, how did she not pick up the net? Like, how did she not pick up? How, how did she not pick up the net right there? Like, oh my goodness, like, what? I guess. But um, big saves from uh, is this Anne 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 
I know her, I think it's like and something. I'm just gonna say that. But yeah, big saves from her. Keeping it uh, 1 0. Yeah. And luckily, Caitlin Ford didn't go down here on the tur shirt pool. And then, like I said, she did have another opportunity uh, right here. And yo, Magnum, she growing on your girl. All right. Magnum's a good player. Like, I, I really like her, her energy. Uh, she's a good player uh, for, um, for, for Arsenal and for Norway. I thought she was very influential when I saw Norway play um, in the in the attack and everything. She's she's gonna be. I feel like she's like one of those low key players because she's not really talked about as much, even though she does play for a good club. Um, she's like behind. I don't say behind the scenes, but she's gonna be making her way to the front because her playing at, just is just showcasing how 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 influential she is to me based upon what I've seen, especially um, with this Norway team. And now with Arsenal, with their changes and stuff like that, um, like with uh, a lot of players moving, it's just new players for Arsenal. And like again, I haven't been watching Arsenal like that. Like, I'm not an Arsenal supporter, you know what I'm saying? So I, you have to ask Arsenal supporter like how you feel about Magnum. But based upon a lot of the matches that I've been able to watch, she's she's really growing on me, and, and I really I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing from her. Um, and uh, <clears throat> At the World I'm not sure. No way at the World Cup. She could have a stand-up performance. Is that what they say? Is that what? Is that what they say? I'm not predicting anything, but I'm just saying. Uh, how many minutes we got here? Three minutes? All right. Three minutes, and then we're going to check to uh, see if, Brent, if Paris and Dijon come back. Because, of course, that is the game that we're watching. We're just tuning into Arsenal-Chelsea a little bit. And we'll probably watch Arsenal-Chelsea uh, a little bit of the end match, hopefully. Um... If uh, if the timing's right, we'll probably so. I'm guessing are they trying to sh like what are they showing us? Like like there should have been a yellow card because I mean yeah. I mean then again like that would have been like really harsh, but we got the free kick here. Arsenal almost leveled it, so close. That's a good ball. Yeah. Okay, let me look at Chelsea's lineup right here. They got who's twenty eight? I don't even know who that is. I guess let me look. Let me look. Hold on. They don't even have the right lineups out here. They they saying Lauren James is out. She ain't even out here. Who's twenty eight? They don't even have the the the. Oh I just gotta get uh, um. Oh, okay, number twenty eight is. Konovic? Oh, never heard of her. Janelle. Janelle Konovic. She's from Serbia? Serbia? Serbia. Siberian? Siberian? There you go. I can't. Siberian. Siberian. Ah, interesting. She's from Siberia. She played for uh, Rosengarten in the Swedish League. Nice. She had a great opportunity to double uh, Chelsea's lead. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, she wasn't on target. A lot of players are coming from Sweden here. Um, a lot of players from Sweden. So that's why, like, I don't even watch the Sweden League, but Sweden, they are yeah, losing some talent. Uh, y'all losing a lot of people. Y'all gotta figure out how to get some of your players back home. Y'all gotta do something. Cause a lot of, a lot, when you think a lot of like I think of Sweden's, Lapstinius, you have Hertegs, you have Eriksson, you have, of course Angendal, you have. Oh, that's it. All right, y'all. That's that's them. That's halftime. One nil Chelsea. Ugh. <laughs> no offense, I can't help it. 
All right, let me get back to my match. Hurry! Hurry! We'll, we'll tune back into um them later. All right, bet. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah. Ah, see how we do it? Man, we just flew back to France like that, man. 47 seconds later. Sitting in where she normally does is the left side of the two center backs. It's usually a mandarin. <clears throat> yes, Paris are leading 1 0. A goal, a goal from Bachman in the 30th minute. Um, Paris are going to be playing Wolfsburg at the Champions League, you know, in the Champions League, and Chelsea are going to be playing. Um, Chelsea are going to be playing. Um, okay, hey, Leon, Arsenal are going to be playing. Uh, are Arsenal in, in the second leg? Oh yeah, Arsenal have to play. Uh, Okay, because Roma has Barcelona. Paris have Wolfsburg. Oh, Martins. Lyon has... Okay, I don't know. Yeah, Roma has Barcelona. Paris has Wolfsburg. Oh, yeah. Chelsea has Lyon. Arsenal have Bayern Munich. Yeah, Arsenal going to get destroyed. Yeah, Ars sorry. Arsenal, you're not going to get... I, I think Bayern going to go out there and thrash them. I'm just saying. I That's how I feel. I just, I just think that's what's going to go down. Sorry, Arsenal. I think Bayern are just real good. Even though, even though I saw them, um, I lose the t rex but I just think, I don't, I just don't see Arsenal beating Bayern Munich. I don't see it. I don't see it, man. I don't see it. Even though they both red, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. When they've been in front. Well, Second half here. Stood still. Was waiting for a whistle that didn't come, and just for a moment, Madeline Roth was half wondering if she'd got away with one. But no. Okay, there's Grace getting it down for uh, the army. Nicely done. Great hold up play. Um. Okay. Multi more here. Okay, so we got some subs. So Lee came off for um. Uh, they they Alma they Alma. I was wondering why she hadn't been starting because she's usually, you know, back there. Even, uh, what's her man? Ana Amanda. Amanda. Amanda's gone, but the, the Alma usually was starting with with Amanda in the back line, center back. But, like I said, I thought he was, I thought she was hurt. But, um, she just changes. Grace, good run from the mid. Now she has opportunity. Ooh, looking for Jackie, but good interception. PSG unable to find their teammates from that kind of cutback. Here's the clerk. Jean-Francois, excellent. So good at that. Winning balls like that and getting PSG back in possession. <laughs> Tends to let the others play most of the football. Breaks things up in the middle. All good attacking sides need at least one defensively minded midfielder like that. She is very much it. Slotted right in, having swapped Paris for Paris Saint Germain in the summer. Baltimore, sweet pass for Jackie Gronen. Was asking, mm. was asking a bit too much, in fact. Okay, it looks like I don't know why it looks like. Um... Race is playing more up top, and Baltimore is playing more out wide, behind uh, Martins. This is playing like a fullback. 
I don't know. I think Baltimore needs to be in the attack, but I mean, hey, got to do what you got to do if you got some injuries. The flurry four four. I was talking about earlier where they really should have won. That was a. Of course, they got some. Ackman puts a good ball in. Diani wouldn't quite sit. Nor for Lika Martins, and it's away. Well, it should be Tedeschina on the head, and then Greg. Nicely played by Dijon here. Can they make it stay? They can. Roth doing that hold up work well. The other draw they've had, Pierce G, the only other time they haven't won was against La Havre. Where they were 2 0 up against. Uh, uh, that's, when you that's what happens when you have an offensive player play defense. Because they're going to foul a lot more. Break the rematch against La Havre. A very fortunate penalty when it was. 1-1 one, one, and they were really struggling to create chances. They did score again right at the end of stoppage time. So it's a very flattering scoreline of 3-1. That could easily have been another one that got away for them. A reminder that the champions Lyon are also in action. At the second half kick. Oh, wow. So uh, the Chelsea player, Jana, Jana, what's her fucking name? Oh, what's her first name? Janelle? Her her first cousin is another footballer, Joanna, that plays for um, Bayern Munich. Ooh, that's cool. Meeting will surely be crucial in the spring. Diani with the ball forward. Was Martins on side? She was, and she was fouled too by Greg. New regular at the back, the Polish defender, having joined from the Austrian champions St. Poulton. In the off season, it's a pretty blatant foul from the Dutch start. Oh wait, wait, yeah, I can't believe I can't believe everything they're saying on here, because uh... let me look, let me check out City real quick, see how they they're doing over there. Just about within shooting range, isn't it? And having earned it, Luca Martins is going to take it. Good, hit. Ooh, good strike on target here. Goalkeeper has to say, "Damn, damn!" Hey, whooping Bristol. Hey, whooping Chelsea. I mean, City whooping Bristol City. I'm not surprised. But that girl Bunny, that girl Bunny, what a hat trick! First half hat trick, and then that girl Hemp in the goal. Oh man, I'm so mad. They're not even able to watch this match. So this awful. I'm probably gonna have to. Oh, this is some bull. Some bull. I'm gonna go on the Twitter real quick. Ah, uh, no foul? Penalty? Hey, there we go. Blackman getting the penalty called. Dijon in despair. In despair. Let's check this out. The touch. Another touch, yeah. Should have just let her run through because she was, the ball was already getting away from Ramona. You saw it, right? That second touch, and then like there's no need to tackle. <laughs> oh wait, man! It wasn't even Pimp that got the goal. It was Angel Doll. Man, Google y'all, y'all flunk. Y'all, y'all, y'all people that scored ain't right. <laughs> With a chance to double the PSG lead. Bunny hat trick. Bunny hat trick. Let's go. Needless penalty and a little harsh. But it's been Oh, women's ballet they don't 2023. Okay, okay. Okay. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see about the girl, the Queen Bunny Shaw. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, let's go. Yeah, give money some love. There we go. Yeah, she's been the best signing City's signed. She's been City's best signing. If you, here's fucking a. Well, uh, Diani, gonna try to double. 
Ah, ooh, I, I kind of finessed the back of the net, but let's go. In the 55th minute, Diani gets her goal. Man, she's been scoring so many goals for Paris. It's not even funny. And she's taken all their penalties. Most of the other penalties. 2-0, Paris. Well done. He was looking that way too. It's kind of funny when you look at the camera. She looked, she looked up, she looked up, she looked up again. That's kind of scary. Ah, there we go. And Bunny, what a hat trick. Hey, the girl Frazier coming in for Martins, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, she is. Replacing her, youngster. Frazier. Yeah, that's, she has scored the. One, two, three, four. Starts plenty. One of the reasons that Nika Martins hasn't started quite so much. Yeah, yeah, Bunny, Bunny, Ballade Don, Ballade Don for Bunny. Bunny will probably be, probably, be. Maybe take some risks. Uh. Good strong defending that from Traoran. Pretty blatantly fouled by Maria Diaz. Yeah, Bunny is uh, the goat. She's an Aquarius, y'all. I just need y'all to understand that, okay? She's an alien. <laughs> I was reading people's tweets under the caption under Bunny's uh, goals. That's too funny. Oh, she's good. Yeah, she's good. Dijon this season is never going to be decided by these games, more those that are around them. <laughs> and they have swale away next time they play. And yeah, so. <clears throat> they are the two teams beneath them, so those will be absolutely huge in deciding. Who goes down? Remember, only seven games to play for everybody after this. Somehow tomorrow. Wait, it's not on City Plus. Let me check. I'm pretty sure it's not on City City TV. Like, I fucking looked. I looked. Yeah, they're not showing you. They're not. It's not. It's the match is not being. It's not aired anywhere. All they're giving us is live updates. You can't even listen live. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's really exciting for City. Uh, yeah, Bunny is just is the GOAT. Uh, yeah, once again, Bunny is the GOAT. Dollar Day Dawn 23. I mean, she's been performing. Even though she plays for Jamaica, I mean, Jamaica going to the World Cup. And she scored lots and lots of goals. I mean, no offense. Like, there hasn't been a quote-unquote black person that won a uh, player of the year before. And that's fucked up. <laughs> so, I mean, we're, I feel like we're in a time and era where, like, that's going to have to change. And uh, if it doesn't, I mean, you just know why. Um, but um, <clears throat> that's just the reality of things. Uh, we live in a, we still live in a, we live in a society where that doesn't happen to people that look like Bunny. Uh, or even like we can think about Diani too. Like she's been scoring lots of goals, but will she get the recognition as much as some of these other players if she was another ethnicity? Probably not. Um, but um, hopefully, like I said, we as the collective have to change that. We have to be like, look, she's she ain't even kicked the football all season. She's up for the rest. The fuck is this shit? Is this a popularity? 
That's what I had to tell y'all last match. Bunny, Diani, a lot of these black girls, uh, they've been playing a lot and they've been doing really good. But you know, they're not in the they're not in the the, the best eleven consistently. Why is that? You know why. You know, it's more common in the men's game to see the boys win than the ladies' game. And Marta is the, was the closest. We claim, we'll claim Marta, I'll claim Marta. Marta was the closest that, that was quote-unquote black. But she's Brazilian. But that's 3D. That's the matrix. If you look at people's race, you're like, you're not supposed to look at how they look like. Can they fucking play? Can they score some goals? Do you want them on your team? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But do they get the accolades? No, probably it's the next player, you know what I'm saying? But, um, and like, just like Crystal Dunn, like, she wasn't getting no love. She wasn't getting a lot of love until finally, like, just now, like, she's finally getting, like, the recognition. And I was look. I remember one time I was looking at all her stats. I'm like, damn, girl, like, she's statted up, you know what I'm saying? Crystal Dunn. <laughs> And luckily, she plays for America, so she gets she gets a lot more attention than some of the other girls. Like you know, like media attention. Like in America, probably the coverage is more than France, and where all the most of the you know, even in England. Like you see England, they're not. I'm not even gonna talk about England because there's not even black girls that play for England right now. Like the only black girls that are playing for England, are, they're just now coming up. In the um, and so like. Ebony and Lord James and Carter, they're the only ones who we, that England have right now. Um, prior, prior to Alex Scott and Innie and... He, those were the only... When I first started watching England, it was... They were, they were the only two girls. Like, it was Alex Scott and Annie Analuku. And uh, those were the only two girls that I had saw. And even in America, um, when I first started watching... I don't even remember if there was any girl. I don't even remember if there was any girls. Like, I feel like there was, but like, I don't remember. You know what I'm saying? That's what's so fucked up. There's so there's such a slim number. And then you look at France, they're full of. Them. And so I'm just like, oh, you know. In a way, that's why I was saying like, I don't. That's why I try to watch all the leagues to see that diversity. To see the diversity because we need to see it. Especially if your country, I can go down the street and see people that look like me, but your football team doesn't represent that. Your national, your football team don't represent what you see down your street. So then again, you see why, why is that? And you, it makes you question, are they only appealing to a certain demographic? And in France, you see, it's just full. I know what I'm saying, it's full. And that's matrix thinking. I'm not in the matrix, but I just want you to be aware of how the matrix programs you. Good shot. But um, yeah, so we will see who we we. And like I said, that's another thing. It's like this. Even when we were talking about how Sam Kerr should have had one ballot they known already. Like, has she not been scoring enough goals? Like, what is what else does Sam Kerr have to do to win a ballot they known? You know what I'm saying? Does she need to win a Champions League now? To be honest, I feel like to me. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. Cause see, I don't give a fuck if you don't win. You, if, if you're say you're, you're, it just happens. Sometimes your national team is not gonna be that successful, and you're the only individual that has to be the star. Like Ada, Norway ain't one shit. Norway ain't one shit. Norway ain't one shit. But Ada has won like best player of the year. She's won a Champions League. And she's won with, you know, she's been with Leon, but Norway ain't that shit. And it's the same thing with Sam Kerr. Australia ain't really won shit. But she hasn't won the Champions League just yet, but she has, like, all the scoring titles pretty much for everywhere she's played. And then, uh, she's now she's champion with Chelsea a lot. So I'm just like, you gotta win it. For me, I'm like, you know, fuck Champions League. Fuck, cha like, in my opinion, I'm like, she don't need to win a Champions League in my book to, th to tell you she's the GOAT. Like, I would want her on my team. She's a goal scorer. Literally, three different leagues, three different goal scoring titles. Like, who doesn't want that? Like, do you really? You know what I'm saying? That's why she's trying to go. That's why she's at Chelsea to win the Champions League, to to maybe finally get the Val de Don. But to me, she should have been winning already. She's been the best player of the year already before, in my eyes. And so, 
Or like Minima, will she win eventually Player of the Year? She hasn't won Champions League, but she has a Euro now. But she and she's been, I think she's been a champion with Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Do you gotta win Champions League? Like, bitch, fuck Champions League. Do you want Minima on your team? Of course you want Minima on your team. You know what I'm saying? And I, I look. And I understand why they gave Alexa the 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 the, the, the champion the uh, Ballon de Don last year. I mean, when she, when they went all the way that the other year. But then this one, I'm like, when did she play? I was like, what is this? Is popularity? I'm like, come on, like, yeah, I understand. They went Barcelona went, and honestly, not if you don't give it to her, give it to one of her teammates. That's so easy. They could have just gave it to one of her teammates, like. Antiana, you know what I'm saying? She's really good. Or even um, they could have gave it to a defender. They could have gave it to Mappy. They could even give it to um, um, what is Map? Not Mappy. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Mariona. They could have gave it to her. They could have gave it to another Barcelona player. But with popularity, I'm just like, she's not the only star on that team, but she's very influential. But they could have just get you know what? Fuck it. Let's just give it to her. And so. I don't, we, we gotta be we gotta be critical thinkers out here and then again that's just you know say if they continue to do this it'll be like listen this is just popularity and i don't want to i don't want to vote for the best the popular player i want to vote for who played the best who, who 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 did we see you know what i'm saying and so that may be an unpopular opinion but i mean it is i'm straight we, we speak in facts we speak in facts we speak in facts. So like half so it's just like so all the ladies that literally have played more matches than some of the other ladies, they don't even get looked at because of uh of popularity. And like they're not like they don't have clout or stuff like that. Or people don't wanna they don't pay attention to them, like they pay attention to other players. Uh and that's a lot of the media's manipulation because the media only wants you to pay attention to certain people. So that's why you have to like why why don't the, that's why you have to wonder like why don't they, they why aren't she talked about more? So that's what that's why you can't even watch TV like that. You can't even you have to you have to watch it for yourself. You have to watch it for yourself. You have to watch it for yourself. You have to be able to see the shit for yourself. You can't believe nothing the media tells you. And even me, you can't you better check me. You can't be you know what I'm saying? stuff like that. I remember I had said something about um, Rose Lavelle. I was like, man, we need Roosevelt back. We need the old, we need the Roosevelt that scored in, in the Dutch and during the Dutch, right? And someone in the comments had said, like, well, you know, something, something is pretty funny, your Roosevelt comment, something like that. And I was just like, still, she hasn't been playing well. And I already told y'all, Mal, Mal Swanson is the best USA player on the team right now. Georgiana's getting subbed off. We got a new player in. I'm not familiar with her, but yeah. Um, We need that Rose Lavelle back. You know what I'm saying? We need that Rose Lavelle back. And so, it, it, it also, it's because how USA are playing. They have a lot of new... Pl pl they have a lot of new faces, so she's having to do a little bit more. When 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 Rose Lavelle was scoring goals with... Um, scoring goals with... Uh, what you call it? During the Dutch... Final I, and during the final of the World Cup, I'm thinking Julie Ertz was still with America, and that was in 2019. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, change, change, change. Ooh, changes have have happened with America, right? But hands down, we already know Mouse Swanson is the best player for America right now, and um, you know, luckily protect Mal all the time because she's you know she's a different player you know what I'm saying we're listen we're awakened we're I'm a, we're awakened at this pitch I hope you understand that we ain't sleep we ain't going back to sleep we ain't drinking no kool-aid no matter how much manipulation the shadow government this is it this is it the shadow government just trying to do anything they can to keep, put you back to sleep to put you back to not knowing yourself to put you in a in a non-thinking for yourself state so, uh, 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 if you come into my commentaries, I'm not, I'm not, most of my opinions are not popular. <laughs> and I don't care because I have the, I have the aqua energy, which is already like anti-society, anti, it's just like revolutionary energy, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I like, like I told y'all before, like, I enjoy the players, like, even though I, I, like, I love Ada, 
she's one of the players I really enjoyed because she 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 had she had to speak out for her for her team. She had to speak out for Norway. And that that's why they shunned that's why they shunned her after um at the when they asked her like if she could twerk or something like that, whatever. And and, and uh, you know, of course Norway didn't really do so well at the Euros, but they shunned Ada. They didn't like that Ada fucking used her platform and made a documentary and was like, you know what, Norway, you ain't shit. That's what she practically said, you ain't shit. And uh, but she's still a legend. She's still a goat. And and we need players like that. So say Alexa spoke out on on George's discussions with uh with, with, say Alexa spoke out on George. She would become even more goat than she already is. Just but it it takes it takes something it takes some courage. And like I said, she may not be that type of player. She may not she may not be one. She may not be being used for that like i said it would it, like if she like i said why did half the team say no we don't want to play for you alexis comes i'll be like you know he's he ain't shit look at janine becky and sophie uh, and janine becky uh sophie smith and you look at um who else uh christine sinclair they out here you not nah, canada national team y'all ain't shit that's what they tell y'all 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 stripping up of, of our money y'all ain't shit they out here speaking their truth we're the, like if we get some, we got the emails we got the the protesting but spain look it's time for y'all to come come out the closet and start speaking you know what i'm saying we got a goal from jackie here you know what i'm saying it's time for y'all to you know use your throat chakras and start be like you know what Fuck this nigga he ain't shit real shit you know what i'm saying it, it may be unpopular for people in france to do that I mean, it, people in uh, Spain to do that, but I mean, we in these times, ladies, you better get with it. You know what I'm saying? You better use your platform. You know what I'm saying? Speak your shit. Jackie here. I was on goal, unfortunately. But, or not even just Alexa, even say if it was another player, another Barcelona star, another Spain star, you know what I'm saying? That has spoke out or said something. We know, uh, <clears throat> and so, um, I said we're, we're in these times now and i applaud the ladies that do have the courage to go ahead and speak out because um i think i had saw someone else had said something about in, about in japan i think she played for the end of the had saw it on our timeline you know i said i respect those individuals those are individual spirits that are not afraid like i said they're in more danger than people like me are because they have a bigger influence and that's another thing. Your whole you your whole career could get thrown out the window the minute you start talking shit. You know what I'm saying? They'll bitch you. They'll tell you you gotta get hurt. You know what I'm saying? That's how they work. That's how they that's how it gets done. And you have to understand that. So if you wanna make it to this well, that's why we have to change it. That's what okay. We got another goal. God damn it. Well, you know what? They scoring goals because I'm talking that heat right now. I'm spitting some game to you. Paris is out here feeling the energy. They scoring goals. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You keep talking. Keep. Uh, that's right, Paris. I'm gonna keep talking. I'm gonna keep talking. Cause ain't nobody talking about this shit like I am. Ain't nobody talking about this stuff behind the scenes like I am. You know what I'm saying? Because we've we've been we've been uh you know that that's something you don't talk about. That's something you don't see. This is something you just be quiet about. No, fuck that shit. We're in new times. We're in new times. You know what I'm saying? And you don't gotta like, you know, be hating on nobody. It's just like we're observing what the we're just observing what the ladies are going through. We're like, hey, like uh, a lot of the national teams are going through it. Like a lot of them. And it's like at the at this time where it's peaking, so it's it's hurtful. And you know, like I said, it and here's another thing. If you disagree, that's why you get a twitch. A YouTube for yourself and put yourself out here and present yourself and talk your shit and talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be you can't be mad at individuals that like me that have something to say and I have no problem saying it in front of anyone, even if it's not uh, um, uh, fit. It's not what you think. You know what I'm saying? Get on your soapbox, then get on your box, and that's why I hope I inspire people to to do. To, to 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 express their opinion and that's you know that's the whole point you know what i'm saying we have all have different angles to look at things 
So I, I want I want everyone to be able to use their throat chakra. You know, that's why I have to, I have to do a lot of math. Well, okay, so there's just been a lot of goals going down. Okay, so let me just catch up on the goals. How about that? I think it was Marty. It also was a distraction too. But anyways, oh, Paris. We had Jackie get the goal. We had, and then someone else got a goal. But it was, I want to see if they claimed it as an own goal. Because they still try to fix the score. Look, you see, after they still try to fix. Look, look, they got the scoreboard up there. Because, uh. Okay, so they gave. What? They gave the own goal to. Oh, yeah, so they did give the 73rd minute own goal. To um, San Sandiva, Sandiva. Unfortunately, you know you don't really want own goals, own goal. And then in the seventy fifth minute, in the seventy fourth minute, once again, Diani getting another goal. <laughs> Let me see how many goals Diani has. Let me check the her stats. Damn, bro. Via Google, Diani has 15 matches, 15 goals, four cents. She's been scoring every goal, every almost practically every match for for Paris. And then we already know Marie broke Paris's record with like a hundred and something goals already. She has like a hundred and thirty something goals for Paris already, and uh, that's fucking crazy. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, Diani, will she ever get some love as the best 11 and stuff like that? What the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on. Marie, Diani, Renard will not play at 2023 World Cup? What? Ooh, bruh! They everyone quitting right now. Everyone quitting. Look, it says, it says, what happened? Renard, who has a hundred and forty-two caps for Le Blues, announced the decision on social media Friday, less than five months before the tournament. Is due to begin that Leon legend raised concerned about the standard the French setup and she was soon followed by Marie and Diani and pulling out of the showpiece event in Australia and New Zealand. What what they said? I have defended the blue, white, and red shirt 142 times with passion, respect. This is Renard, C commitment and professionalism. Renard wrote, "I love France." More than anything else, I am not perfect, far from it, but I can no longer support the current system, which is far from the requirements of the highest level. It is sad to say, but necessary to preserve my mental health. It is with heavy heart that I come to inform you of my decision to step back from the French team. I will unfortunately not be playing in this World Cup in such consist in such decision. In, con ah! in such conditions this is awful this is awful everyone's everyone's ev listen this is, a t this is a and this is what i tell y'all we're, we're seeing all our stars all our favorite players say the quality of their game the quality of the federation ain't good enough and this is national teams we're talking about national teams and of course, we know those that have the club teams, they end up, you know, speaking out or trying to leave to, to, to a different club. But we're talking about the national teams. Tell me why my laptop literally just restarted on me. My laptop literally just restarted on me, and it's never done that. You know how many commentaries I've done? You know how many commentaries I've done? What the fuck? I was, 
Okay, so before I was really interrupted. All these national teams are getting put on blast. Marie says, in words of our captain, Wendy led me into my talk. Wendy led me in return to talk about the situation in the France team. The events of 2019, the injury of 2022, then the recent events show me I am no longer acquitted. Acquitted with the management of the French team and the values. Hold on. Uh, therefore, I take my decision to put the international career on hold until the necessary changes are applied. All of them from the bench. Damn. 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 Cross comes Solede on the. Damn, y'all. This World Cup, as exciting as it's going to be, it's going to be exciting based upon us standing together with the players. And we're going to stand together with the players. And look, we're not going to hate, we, we need to remember, we're not going to hate the players that decided to go suit up for their national team. Say they have some scrutiny on it. We're not going to hate them. But we are not going to hate the ladies that decided to say no. It's a balance. But at the, in general, we know that they're saying that their federation needs changes. And there's some of the top world-class players. Players that we see play for Chelsea, players that we see play for Barcelona, players that we see play for Lyon, players that we see play for Arsenal, players that we see play for a lot of these teams in the Champions League, players that we see win Ballon de Dons, players we see win, you know, best FIFA Team 11, best second Team 11. And these are these players that are using their platforms to speak out against their federations and, and to their clubs if they have to. <clears throat> I can't believe they literally shut me off. I'm gonna have to make a video. I can't believe it, bro. This is crazy. But then again, I'm not surprised. What national team will be next? <laughs> like, to be honest. <laughs> What national team will be left? Because now it's like it's showing you it's more systematic. And you have to understand this is the system that we live in. This is the system. It's the Matrix. Matrix. The ones that play tricks on you. You know what I'm saying? So this World Cup. Right now? Now, now it's like, damn, I'm looking at friends. I'm like, damn, now France are not even going to be in the running for a title. Now you're really looking at Germany and England again. You're looking at the national teams that, in a way, not having too much drama around them. Australia may have a chance now. I think France without Diani, Marie, and Wendy, bruh, it's tough. That's tough. It was already going to be tough without Marie. But now you're saying no Marie, no. Oh, who's going to be. Like I said, this year has been with France as almost as long as fucking George has been with Spain. And you see their puppets that they put up there. They fucked up the. They, they fucked up the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Now they're like fuck now they're like fuck the Federation. And during the time we want to see them the most. Look out. Wow, so we're gonna have to watch them play. We're just gonna have to watch them play club, right? And then Rodez. And um Wow. That's crazy. I just I literally was like I was looking to see I just came across to see how many goals Marie has. I mean I had, I was just looking to see how many goals uh Diani has, and then this is what's trending. Y'all see that? Yeah, y'all really can't see that shit. Damn. Damn. And I wonder how many more people will follow for France. Oh my god. It's like we're going through a purge. And like we're going through a purge. And these national teams now. 
I'm not saying it's 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 and ugh. Uh, oh my goodness ah uh, wow I'm actually surprised but not surprised I, I stay with the lady I'm staying with the lady they don't want to play they don't want to play for that their federation and Wendy she's OG 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 she's like I had enough for him I've had enough I've had enough she's had enough and you know, Wendy, you know what I'm saying? She's been playing ever since I've been watching football for friends. Ever since I was introduced to friends, she was been playing in that back line. Solid. Solid. Loyal. Uh, loyal cancer. Loyal. Like, so much drama. Like I said, anyway, it's at, at, at the World Cup, you made the best team win, but. It's all about changes that need to be done to these federations, and that's what's that should be the storyline. Even though it, it's gonna be the the shadow government is gonna try to make it the storyline something different, and of course we're gonna have to like whoever shows up for these national teams. Of course we're gonna have to love on them, but also we know that your federation need change, especially if it's a federation that we know that's been like you know say I, you know what I'm saying like that's why I'm leaning, that's why I'm kind of leaning towards Germany. I kind of lean towards Germany at the moment, like, even though I, it's like England there, Germany, Australia, USA, Sweden, probably, may the best team win, but damn, Canada there, damn, <laughs> and France, wow, even y'all going through some shit too. Yeah, everything's getting everything out. Everyone's saying they've had enough. It's like like it's like an epidemic. Epidemic. It's a pandemonium. But um, I have to make a video and like make it. I won't make it too long, but uh, I'll talk about it. So we had the final two minutes. After this, I'm trying to hop over to Chelsea and Arsenal to see what's going down over there. But um, wow. What a ending! What a like what's ooh. I just wasn't expecting that, bro. I just wasn't expecting. I'm over here. The, oh my god! Could not quite keep it. Like players like Fraser may now now get a call up for France. You know what I'm saying? Players that haven't been in, that haven't seen the system, that this will be their first time watching and tuning into the federation you know what i'm saying like and this is kind of what happens when um oh my goodness man i can't believe when i looked up it was like my face was all and then I looked over here, my computer had like, oh, something happened. Like, th this is a brand, not brand new, but. Man, you ain't. Never, I know I just updated it last night, but I was just like, no, nah, you ain't never done that to me. Why? And then, like, it's not like we weren't. Oh, I can't stand shit that like that. I can't stand shit that. But those that were left, those were the, that were meant to hear, to hear what I had to say are here. Those that are not are gone with the wind. Are gone with the win. Wow. What are we gonna do with women's football? So practically, everyone's gonna go through a U-Haul. Our our U-Haul. Fucking a. Everyone's gonna go through a a remix because we got like I said, the old world is crumbling, right? The system, the whole system is 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 no longer working for us, right? So we're having to create new and inventive ways to create stability and stuff like that for ourselves. But for the ladies' game, it's it's big, even in the, when you look at the the only league that's really going through a lot of chaos right now is the NWSL because of all their fraudulent lies and stuff. But anyways, woo, woo. Okay, I know that that the end of the match got hijacked by France and everything, but good match for Paris. Keeping top with Leon, winning 4-0, which is very important. I'm going to have to slide over here. I'm going to go slide to, um, hopefully, Arsenal and Chelsea, see what's going down. Well done, ladies. Um, Diani scoring two goals. 
you saw on goal and then i think it was uh jackie getting another goal the, uh for paris for nil oh diani scoring two goals jackie and what no i'm sorry not diani score diani scoring a goal backman scoring the first one jackie so we got you know uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at here? Chelsea, Arsenal, where you at? There we go. Damn. Okay. Hold on, y'all. All right, here you go. From anywhere. That's why she's into double figures. Two nil. Looks like, looks like, uh, Chelsea gonna win. Wow. Changes. Katarina Cool is going to come on. Blackstonius is departing. Damn, so like I said, Diani on her 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 tweet got 1.8 million people looking at her. Marie, you find Marie. City up five goals. Demi Stokes is back. The shoulders of the defender of the attackers. You can hear the cry went out from the Chelsea coaching bench. Ruben Moy plays it back through. Bench a couple of times for England in the Arnold Clark. Hmm. Time is tight for Arsenal. Beaten by this score on in hmm. last season. Who's fourth for Chelsea? Their second goal. James. Go zero. Ah, what the fuck? Certainly be a candidate, I would think, if she keeps this form up for the uh, women's football writers. Footballer of the Year. Certainly the PFA Young Footballer of the Year. Marnham trying to hold it up. Release to Ford. It's another Arsenal shot. It's another shot too close to the goalkeeper. And I think Emma Hayes will have concern about this because. For the week to go before the Continental Cup final, they've allowed Arsenal to create 14 opportunities in the game. Damn, yeah, this year, this year is a problem. That's, damn, I didn't even know she stripped Wendy Bernard of her captaincy after the Euros. And she didn't even Absolutely call up Diani at the World Cup. Yeah, boy, this year all. has to go. I'm telling you, but this is how she, this this is it. This is it. Either either the players say something, or nothing's gonna change. And then us as observers, us as supporters, have to support the ladies' stance. So they may not be on the, the they may they may not be playing, uh, and just uh, they may not be playing. And the federations are going to fight a little bit different than the club teams, you know what I'm saying? As you see, because when the club teams make, because they're, I guess, unfortunately, they're just owned, incorporated by different people. But the federations is pretty much, I'm thinking it's just like, okay, it's your country. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's your country. Like, and, and so, uh, but just in general, 
Uh, yeah, this year it's just like George, another puppet that had been installed in the league, in that foundation, and been told how to run things. And they liked the fact that she uh, ran things the way they wanted. And Olympic gold winner with Canada. You know, when she comes, it's another it's another puppet, but she's she has messed up a lot of the ladies' careers. Even with Henri and and Lissomere. Midfield player. Two, you know. But Chelsea winning 2 0. Like I said, damn. So much. So much stuff. Mm. Let me see. And City are winning 5 1. I can't believe they got scored on, though. That's a problem. <laughs> City got scored on. That's a problem. That's a problem. I wanted to see Chelsea real quick. Um, More unfamiliar left side. Cannot. Repeat myself, I know, understand why Paul hasn't been switched to that side though, because she gave us some troubles. So it looks like Ingle and get. Sam Kerr, and now up the that's what they the say, basket. have scored. The challenge by Cuthbert, she covers so much ground. Five to go. Chelsea two, Arsenal nil. Replacing the last eight. There you. Okay. Well, Elena Kekovic. Another strong signing to add to the squad. The Serbian international arrived last summer. Let me see. Let me see. Has she been coaching? Ruben Moy at the back. Quarterfinals due to be played in March 2023. Vanilla Harder watching on next to Frank Kirby. Another one um, missing from the side, of course. I mentioned her. A shot of her in the first half as well. But both sides missing key players. But Arsenal have missed Miedemar in particular, I think. She got a decent ball in. He left footed. Williamson from there is not going to be anchored. Yeah, she's, she's just a puppet. Yeah, she's just a puppet. Yeah, she is just a puppet. We know Shadow Government. We know she's just a puppet. Yeah, so the really big yeah, names. You got good, Kirby you got good sheeples with, working for y'all. Meet him up and meet it is, it is <laughs> Arsenal. Ooh. Who at this stage of the campaign are missing their superstars and any team would and it's Chelsea who have that quarter final on Sunday the 19th of March beckoning at the moment. So um, I wonder what happened uh, but most of the goal one goal in the first half one goal in the second half for Chelsea and Arsenal like I said both teams had players playing domestic I mean internationally um, and like I said Arsenal this second best today Ain't no telling what happened, but I'm just I, I I already predicted that. I already predicted it. <laughs> I already predicted it, so switched off in the first half, his side to allow Ingle with the free run to the edge of the penalty area for one nil. And then it was a lovely Chelsea move. Started by James, helped on by Kankovic to Sam Kerr for the second. They know they're almost inve inevitably going to concede to Kerr in, a, in this London derby. They knew to win it on the day they'd need to. And they've had their opportunities, they can't say they haven't.
And then, and then it kind of like shows you like some of the federations that we don't get talked about. How are those players even doing, you know? And some of these top federations are just awful. How are these federations that don't even get that much attention? How are, how are, how are, their, how are they doing? McKay blocked off by the excellent Cuthbert. Can they create here, Arsenal? Way towards uh, Noel Maritz. His pillow over. Ruben Moy to Rafaela. The arrival of Ruben Moy has allowed Williamson to push on. Little getting into the penalty here. Can they get one back here late? Good save. Didn't have to move too far, but she managed to push it away from danger. Let's look to get the ball into the penalty area. Goes to the dead ball line. And over into the box away by Ericsson. Little. It's a free kick conceded by Sam Kerr in stoppage time. Five minutes of stoppage time to play. It's a lovely run by Little, isn't it? The save looked more spectacular than it perhaps needed to be, but anyway, she got it away from danger, and that's all that matters. to the right of the ball Marnham to the left Arsenal need something and very quickly dude he got hacked this is awful Peter Marnham over the wall but not down again and they're not going to get many more chances Never likely to get up and over and down again. Not with the elevation off the boot. Ooh, Magnum on top of the net. Ninety seconds of stoppage time gone. Um, like if people be acting like we were supposed to just recommend it. Like, look for Mark. Yeah, Bright was there again. She's been excellent for Chelsea. Uh, Bright, James, Cuthbert, very, very strong. Charles, Wrighton hasn't been in the game as much as she would have wanted. Engel, top of your picture there, wearing five, scored the first goal. Super for Emma Hayside. It's a chilly Fagenau. day out there in London. You're looking at Catelyn Ford. Kim Little has had her moments, but by and large, she's been well marshaled by the likes of Cuthbert, who's underneath that one. Arsenal have had more of the ball, you'd have thought. Arsenal have had more chances, mm -hmm. but it's Chelsea with the two goals. Story, isn't it? And catching Berger. Great example. Here's Raphael. Canarin. Cuthbert. To turn infield, here's Sophie Ingle, the pivot of the move again. Lovely ball, and Wrighton has taken it so well. And should be a yellow, I would think, here against Maritz. Can't really, can't really argue. Mm.
Well beaten by a lovely piece of skill. Just dropped her upper body onto the ball. Away she went. Looking for the substitute. Final, final minute here. Well, they'll take their time over this. And they're very nearly through. And it goes by right and oh Kurz Ooh, missed it. Kurt is close. Missed an opportunity That's... of her third Chelsea goal, but she's chased off after the ball here now. Yeah. With Chelsea. That means Arsenal may win uh, on the fifth when Chelsea play. But that may be the only title they win this year. <laughs> and they'll do it for because I, and I would say they give it that. But they need to. They need. To, I have to. We're gonna have to watch that match because I don't want just because Chelsea winning Arsenal here that fucking Arsenal automatically get the title. But usually that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Because first of all, I'm tired of Chelsea winning all the fucking competitions in this bitch. It's like, goddamn, fucking champions of how many years? Someone needs to sit Chelsea down. Oh, so Arsenal, get with it. Y'all need to win. Fucking hey, y'all need to win on the fifth. Y'all need to stop. You know what I'm saying? But that's kind of how it happened with City. City lost in the cup, and then they beat Arsenal in the league. It only makes sense, but Arsenal, you gotta show us. We don't want no. A weird penalty, you know, just like we say every time, you know, like we always say, needs to be a, def a definitive win, not no for not no weird shit happening behind the scenes win. But then again, do Arsenal even have the players to even match Chelsea? It doesn't really look like it. So I don't even know how they're going to get that shit done. But anyways, that's that. Thank y'all once again for tuning in to any bus joints. Hashtag extend the joints, where every day is payday, baby. You should go need to fly high, flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'm gonna see you on the next one. Yes.